Big Fat Das, your rugby, <laughs> Tom Liner. Tommy Liner. Mate, I, I just like his uh, well, he's two games in. I just like his composure. Um, he's kicking and he, especially his, his uh, conversions and his penalty. Even his D here. He's a young little bloke. Um, he's, he's, not, he's not flashy. He knows what his job is. And he just does those things extremely well. Look at that. Um, Look at that. Like, if you compare his uh, kicking compared to O'Connor's, like, he's getting another 10, 15 metres on O'Connor. Yeah. Just Northern Hemisphere it's kicking. That's, yeah, that's it. Just so um, fluid. I, d- I just love his compo- and his trajectory. For me, I don't want to... Obviously, don't want to. I've already put him in my World Cup squad, but I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't overdo it, but mate, I, I, I just love he, already his composure, and it's just going to get better. And he's got he's got all the flash outside him, so just let him play his game. Could I be the it. ten the Reds need to just someone who will just, just distribute yeah. and then work on field position. Get get your Hunter Paisamis and your Jordan, Jordan Pataias and Suli Vunivalu's in a good Dal position. Gunu. Yeah, get them in the right end of the field and let them do the crazy stuff. Yeah. And let him just yeah. dictate play. Uh, and I think was it you saying before, Dell? He doesn't overplay his hand. He just goes about his business, and it's absolutely yeah. sublime. And I think um, the and the crucial thing with Tommy Liner moving forward, um, and you know, depending on whether Thorny stays on after this year or whoever takes care of the Reds and whether he's still there, you know, Eddie came out uh, this week and it was something around you know young tens and. You know they're going to lose games. They're going to they're going to have mistakes. But you know you have to stick with them. Um, you know and Dal's Dal's been in the game a while. There's been too many young tens thrown in the fire. Yes, they don't perform as well, and then they just come under scrutiny from everyone. Yep. And then coaches feel pressure. They're dropped, and then they've you know they're gone into the abyss. And we never see them reach their potential. Um, but and you know every time you see a young guy come in, you know they're gonna you know they're, they're not gonna be. I mean, he's been super composed, but, you know, they're not going to win games. They're not, they're going to have so many mistakes in them, but you just want to see that little something that's like, yeah, fuck, he's worth, yeah. he's, worth he's worth, he's worth persisting with. And, and man, right and direction. I tell you what, it was that Hurricanes game, that ball on the deck and he's come back one hand, scooped Oh, mate, up, how sick was that, eh? Evaded a couple of guys and it's like, man, this guy's got skills and, oh. he, and he is worth sticking with through the next couple of years. Yes, he might have some howlers, but. It'll for Australian rugby and for the Queensland Reds in the long term, man. He's yeah, giving yeah, that he's special. I think I I think this is just me personally. I think I would love to see Hino take over from Thorny next year. Nothing against Thorny, but I think Hino. You look at Hino's track record, right? Twelve years, ten finals, won six of them. But his track record as a coach is. Wrong has sort of touched on it, his simplicity, but getting the basics, rights, and standards. But if you just look at the sides he's always had, look at the fly halves he's had. Just these sort of good skill base generals, you know, a Brick Twydale, James Dale Gleish, these guys, just these little honkies who just go out there and just sort of dictate a game without overplaying their hand. And Hino has a track record of getting players from into the clubland system and into the next level like that progression quicker than anyone else. Like it's freakish that he was able to do it. And I think he's now in a position after 12 years to go on, take over uh, a, an organisation like the Reds and have a player well, like Tom Liner, who is almost an exact like match of what would be the perfect 10 for Hino mm. Ball. But not only opinion. that, his resumes, like if you're looking at resumes before... Um, Super Rugby. His resume is better than Thorny's. Oh, like, it's co- coaching. One hundred percent. He definitely. One hundred percent. But a, you, um, but you just look at know? like Tom Liner as a cog in the machine yeah, of so Hino Ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah he is the perfect ten to play Hino Ball. Yep. Like it's simple. Yep. It is direct and it's hard and it's all about simples and it's simple and it's about standards. That's it. Yeah. But to your point, friends, it's what fucking burns me about yeah. Eddie bringing in bloody Brett Hodgson because there are yeah. numerous coaches Correct. like him who probably deserve an opportunity. Maybe yeah. are not at the Wallabies level, but over yeah. an hour without bringing um, up Brett Hodgson. <laughs> yeah, he did well. I'm keen to get. Oh get, uh, man, I've been waiting all all night to say something. Um, Dal as a as a as a you know as an old ten. Um, Very old <laughs> <laughs> You know Played at super rugby nice. level Like what are your I mean I'm really optimistic About young Liner um, What are your thoughts About him um, I guess his potential The way to nurture him I just think What he does well Is the things That we lack So no one kicks the ball Better than him yeah. So he's consistent You watch his kickoffs Then it's on point It's on point It's on point He goal kicks He doesn't miss 
He controls the game so well with his boots. So he's got enough of that upside that you look at him and you go, okay, well, he's worthwhile yeah. pursuing. I mean, he's got that consistency. And when you get to that level, that's what matters is that consistency of game. And so we talked about it before, you know, Doss made the point of you've got to back these young kids. Like, look what happened to Quaid. So Quaid came into a red setup and they got beaten 92-3. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And a couple of years later, all of a sudden, they backed him and they backed him and they backed him and they backed him and they got the fruits at the end. Correct. He's starting a lot better, in my opinion, than what Quaid does. But yeah. he's just got... He's more of a, like that sort of distributor tent. Yeah, he's a different player, like, yeah. but, but you've got to have that ability just to, just to go, all right, well, you know, there's enough upside there to, to keep... You know, 100%. bringing him through. Yeah. Do you reckon? Um, and just before we go into your one, um, Carter Gordon, I've, I reckon he, he's been showing some mm-hmm. good glimpses as well of of that sort of X Factor Ten sort of role. You know, he, and they're sort of sticking with him more, and he's started build and getting more confidence in his game as well. I agree. I mean, uh, there's huge upside to Carter, and he's a mongrel. Yeah, he's yeah. tough. He loves yeah. the he's tough. He's a slow motion like, with his mullet listening oh, up. Yeah, <laughs> it's so good. Like he can hit. He's That's tough. So he's got silky skills, man. He's a, he's silky. a great kicker of the ball, yeah. and he's got an X factor to him. Like yeah. he'll bust a chip kick out yeah. on his own twenty two, and you're like, yeah, and he'll nail it. Yeah. 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 But well, that's it's, exactly right. It's and good it's, for and Australia. It's, and as he yeah. progresses so and as he matures, he'll learn the right times to pull out those yeah. plays. But as I sort of mentioned before, they do something within the first three to five games of their career where you think, yep, this guy's worth persisting with because the upside is just so much more um, so much more positive than, you know, if we if we don't persist with them. Yeah. I think the Reds are onto a winner there. They've just got to nurture him correctly. So, fingers crossed, he's two games in. Hopefully he crushes it for, for many, many years to come. 